Find all our courses at Minded.com. We are now starting a new chapter where we are going to talk about the organizational design. And in this video, I would like to give you some sort of a brief introduction to organizational design. Basically, when you are talking about the organizations, all of them are sort of designed. Well, you are this designing not only the organizational culture, but especially the organizational structure and the display, how we usually sort of display, how we usually display organizational structure is this pyramid way so that on the top we have our CEO and then we can have our manager on the way down and then our workforce. So this is the usual display of, of organizational structure. Now, I, I think it can be quite appropriate to, to have an introduction made the way that we will create some sort of a modal company. And this our modal company is going to be a restaurant. So we are going to design a restaurant and the founders are going to be Bob, Bob and Amanda, Bob and Amanda. Now we are going to have sort of phases. So here is going to be initial first phase. Then there is going to be second phase, third, fourth, and then fifth phase. And you will see how the structure of the organization and the, the authority, and especially the position of Bob and Amanda, their tasks, how it evolves and how these are changing. So let's think about the beginning. Well, they don't have that much money in the beginning. So Bob and Amanda will need to take care about a lot of tasks. So they will not only need to be a chefs in the restaurant, they will also need to be, let's say, uh, they will have to care about marketing, accounting, and let's say some legal operations. So they are going to be somewhere here on the top of the organization. They are going to be in charge but they are going to have only let's say one subordinate so here is going to be and let's call this person let's call it a server who will help them in their dining room and that is the most basic organizational structure that bob and amanda with their restaurant can have now they are doing a pretty good job and their customers are being really happy. So we have uh, happy customers. So now Bob and Amanda are deciding to grow their organization. They are still going to be on the top. So here is going to be Bob and here is going to be Amanda. But now they will increase what we call a number of hierarchical levels. So these are the hierarchical levels and you will learn about them later. Here we have one hierarchical level and two. Now we are going to have three. Now we are going to have three hierarchical levels. And then let's say that in the middle, on the middle hierarchical level, they are going to hire one, two and three three chefs. So these are going to be our chefs. And now you can see because we have chefs, Bob and Amanda can, can care much more about the important functions such as marketing or, or, or accounting or promotion of the restaurant. And then on the bottom, there are going to be some servers, let's say. So here we have one, two, three, four, five servers. So we have our servers. And then let's say we will hire also some bussers. So we will have one, two, three, one, two, three bussers, uh, bussers. Okay, so as you can see, we have increased the number of hierarchical levels and we are still doing a pretty good job with our restaurant. So our customers are even more happy. So one happy and two happy. So we are again going to grow. But this time we are going to create something that we call a subunits or divisions. So we will simply split our organization into two halves, sort of. Because we will realize that, or Bob and Amanda will realize that it is quite a different thing to manage a, a dining room and to manage a kitchen. So this is going to be, this is going to be a, a dining room dining room and this is going to be a kitchen a kitchen so we have two subunits and now bob is going to take care about the dining room and amanda about kitchen 
So here is going to be here is going to be Bob and here is going to be Amanda. So now it will be much simpler for them uh, to really monitor and manage their own division because the because the jobs that they are managing are quite similar. Now what do we have in our dining room? Well, let's say that we have there, let's say we have there uh, some two hierarchical levels where we have where we have one field manager. Let's call him a, a or, or floor manager. So we have a floor manager and then of course we have our servers and busters so here are going to be our one two three four five servers and one two three four five busters so here are here are the busters busters and here are our servers so servers now in the kitchen we have decided that we will also have, have two hierarchical levels where we will have, let's say, where we will have a chefs on the top. So here will be our chefs, chefs. But now they are going to have uh, assistants. So we are going to have, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kitchen assistants. A kitchen, kitchen assistants assistance and you see how our organization is growing but the crucial step here was to realize that we should create some subunits or some divisions within our organization one is a dining room and another one is a kitchen but we are still growing and growing so let's say let's say we have even more happy customers so one happy two happy and three happy now we will create even one more division so we are going to have three divisions this time three divisions because we start to organize events we start to organize events so there still is our dining room dining room there still is a kitchen division a kitchen but there is now one more and it's going to be organizing of events events and you remember it was quite simple everything will basically remain the same what from from a previous picture these our two divisions and let's say our third one will be similar but what is important bob will have a dining room amanda will have a kitchen but now we are hiring a new top manager so i will i will make a t here we are hiring a top manager top manager and you will see in later videos that hiring a top management is a totally different story than hiring a hiring a workforce so that is another crucial step because he is responsible for a lot of the resources and basically a lot of our capital now we are growing even more and to the last phase this time so we have a super happy customers now what we will do is that we will have several restaurants so that let's say here is a restaurant a here is a restaurant b and here is a restaurant c so we have various restaurants because we have realized we are uh, very good in at, at one restaurant which we have built so far so we will create two more restaurants now we will use the same sort of structure which was maybe over here or over here we will use them in all of the restaurants but where are going to be where are going to be our founders bob and amanda they are going to form something that we call a headquarters so he is going to be he is going to be some something that we call a headquarters and that is where Bob and Amanda are going to be. So they are not going to be in a daily contact with their restaurants. They are just going to sort of oversee them. So that was the introduction to the organizational design. I hope I have brought you some intuition behind what is awaiting for you in the next videos.